afternoon. I'm Chief Musician Justin Cody. I'd like to welcome you to the Navy Band Cruisers webcast presentation, Origins of Inspiration, as we talk about the things that have inspired us to make music. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the group and tell you a little bit about who we are. The Cruisers is the Navy's band's popular music group, which plays a mix of pop, rhythm and blues, classic rock, jazz, and more. In addition, to, in addition to educational performances like this one, we also present public concerts around the Washington, D.C. area and across the country. Now that you know more about us, let's turn back to today's webcast. Since 1991, the Navy Band has presented educational programs and concerts at hundreds of schools. These performances are designed to supplement music education curricula and connect students with the Navy. They also allow us to share our music with young musicians who might not actively seek out live concerts or other opportunities. As I said previously, today's presentation focuses on our origins as musicians and how our backgrounds and life experiences impact the way we approach music today. To talk about our first selection, I'd like to introduce our guitar player, musician first class, Trevor Shiflett. Hello, as Chief Cody said, I'm Musician First Class Trevor Shiflett, and I've been with the Cruisers for about eight months. When I first started playing guitar, I was really into classic rock and blues, which you'll hear a lot of in our first selection. I grew up playing by ear, and over time have learned that while sheet music contains a lot of important information for the performer, playing music is, at its core, an oral tradition, and there are intricacies that just can't be translated onto paper. An excellent example is the bridge to this piece, which is relatively simple to listen to and play by ear, but fairly difficult to read from a page. Pay close attention to the interaction between the drums, which maintain a steady beat, and the guitar, bass, and keys, which play a line together that departs rhythmically from what the drummer is doing, before coming back into alignment with him at the end of the phrase. So, without further ado, here's What About Me by Snarky Puppy.
Thank you. That was What About Me by Snarky Puppy, featuring musician First Class Trevor Shiflett on the guitar and Joe Ganzelli on the drums. I'm musician First Class David Smith, and I am the trumpet player for the Navy Band Cruisers. My inspiration came from the experiences I had when I was in school. I played in the concert band, marching band, jazz band, and chamber ensembles, all of which afforded me the opportunity to be exposed to many different genres of music. This became vital for me to take on the job I have now with the Cruisers since we play such a wide variety of music. Now, some of my favorite trumpet players include Wynton Marcellus and Louis Armstrong. But for this next selection, I'd like to pay homage to one of my favorite musicians, Trombone Shorty. Starting off with the cadenza, this tune showcases all of the different styles that molded me into the musician I am today. This is St. James Infirmary. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. 
So sweet, so cold, so musician First Class Athos de Lima, the bassist of the Cruisers. The role of the bass in any ensemble has always been an interesting one. While the bass is a background instrument in the sense that it is not supposed to stick out in front of other instruments, the harmonic foundation that it offers is critical in any song. In fact, most people only notice how important the bass is when it drops out. The bass, along with the drums, is responsible for creating the pocket or groove of the song, which is what makes you dance or bob your head to a tune. In the 1970s, however, 
the bass started becoming more of a solo instrument. Jaco Pastorius revolutionized bass playing and brought a whole new perspective to bass players around the world. He is perhaps the most influential electric bassist today, and the majority of bass players, including myself, will tell you that they have been influenced by him. The tune we're about to play is called Teen Town and was composed and recorded by Jaco Pastorius in 1977. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm musician first class Manuel Pelayo. I began my musical career at the age of nine in Cuba, which is my country of origin. In those first years, I was exposed to the classic saxophone technique, working on fundamentals and sound development, something I'm very grateful for. At that time, we just had con uh, classical conservatories in our country, but I was able to listen to popular music, music on practically every corner. Maybe for that very reason, my inclination worked toward more exotic styles like jazz, fusion, um, funk, soul, Brazilian, and gypsy jazz. While living in Cuba, I also had the opportunity to perform with several bands that made a profound impact on the way I see music today. I play with amazing musicians from whom I learned to be confident and trust, trust my instincts. After 27 years, I left the country and I began to miss all the musical surroundings, surroundings that I took for granted while I was living there. I became homesick for my, for my native music and culture and started to listen to Cuban music, but now with a lot more appreciation. I'm very grateful uh, to the United States and especially to the Navy for giving me the opportunity to live my passion full time while serving with a bigger purpose. The next tune that we are about to play is one of my own compositions where the two worlds of my musical experiences converge. On one side is just fusion and the other Afro-Cuban rhythms normally performed with the bata drumming that I experienced during my younger days. We now present Africando. Hope you, you enjoy. Thank you. 
Growing up, I had the opportunity to attend Interlochen Arts Academy in Traverse City, Michigan. It was there that I first saw Bela Fleck perform on the banjo. I was so amazed at the extremely fast and complex lines he was able to play. I'd always dreamed of being in a band that is able to play some of these complex pieces. This next selection is one of those pieces I heard that night in Michigan. Entitled Zona Mona, it requires extreme rhythmic concentration from the whole band and uses a type of counterpoint or interplay with which each of our distinct parts combine to make something greater. You've probably heard the quote from Aristotle that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is a prime example of that. I will play the piano part or the banjo part. It goes something like this. Next, we have the bass, who plays an ostinato like this. The drums add some colorful rhythms. The guitar has drone-like chords. And finally, we add a beautiful saxophone melody topped off with trumpet harmonies. When playing in an ensemble, you must remember that it is a group activity. You must be able to listen across the group and hear, hear how your part fits into the greater whole. We present to you Zona Mona.
Next, we'd like to take some questions from the internet right now. We have a question from Meryl Livingston from the DOD school. And the question is, what do you have to do to audition for the Navy band? Petty Officer Smith, could you help me out with that? Sure, what do you have to do uh, to audition for the Navy band? Well, first thing is you have to check the website to see if there's any openings uh, for any of the bands. You know, what I did was I attached myself to what the newsletter, they would send a newsletter out uh, that would have audition openings. And, and initially, you audition. You, uh, once you audition, they recommend you for the group. And then at that point, they would send you to a local recruitment office to join the official Navy. Thank you. The next question is from Jada Butler from Sulin High School. The question is, you had many options. You could have gone to the Philharmonic or stayed local. What made you want to join the Navy? I'll take this question. For me, it just came down to what I wanted in my life. Um, I was born and raised in Wisconsin, and I knew that for my career, I really wanted to have a family. And so that kind of guided my decision because I know that being a part of the Navy, the Navy itself is a family, but it also gives me an opportunity to provide for and support a family on my own. The next question is from Alicia Williams from Williston Middle School. And the question is, what instrument did you start playing? Why don't we just go around quick, why don't we just go around quick and everyone just say what instrument they started playing? Well, I, uh, believe it or not, started on the trombone before switching to drums and finally settled on the guitar, and that's the one that stuck. I began on saxophone and staying saxophone. <laughs> Same, me with the trumpet. 
I started on um, piano and saxophone and bassoon. Uh, I started out playing drums, then I played guitar, then violin, and then bass. I guess I started playing uh, recorder in third grade. Uh, yeah. Recorder. I don't know if that counts, but yeah, we did. And then later, that. later drum set in fourth grade. So yeah. Our next question is from Suitland High School. What does it take, or what does it really take, to take your playing to the next level beyond, beyond fundamentals? Petty officer, could, could you help us out with this? Sure, sure. Okay, so this is from Levante Evans. Okay, so to take your playing to the next level, um, I'm assuming you've had some basic training on your instrument, but the first thing I would suggest is to definitely get uh, with a private teacher, have a great mentor to sort of guide you in the right direction if you really want to become a professional musician down the line. Um, also, you, you want to do a lot of listening. Uh, I really credit my playing to just doing a lot of listening, listening to a lot of different styles of music, not just uh, rock or, or rap or whatever you want to listen to. List, expose yourself to a lot of different kinds of music, particularly pl masters of your instrument. Um, so for me, drummers, I would listen to the masters of the instrument going back to the beginning of the instrument. So I wanted to kind of have a good history of my instrument um, to sort of take my playing to where it has come to today. Awesome. Our next, our next question is from Williston Middle School as well. Uh, what kind of practice habits did you have in middle school? Uh, in middle school, I wasn't the most disciplined. I didn't practice as much as I should. That didn't come until later. Um, but you should practice. You should practice every day. <laughs> we want you to practice. All right, the next question is from Cullen Walker from Suitland High School. What would you tell your high school self knowing that you were going to have a career in music? Anybody? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> um, well, you got to study the marketplace. You got to decide what, what do you want to do? Do you want to teach? Do you want to play? And, and you, you, you have to find, who, find a path that has already been chartered so that you can emulate that path. So if, if you want to be a band director, you get with a band director. If, if, if there's a player that you admire, you contact them and you ask them for that path. Um, what would I say to my younger self? Honestly, I would, I would have probably joined the military band earlier. Um, is, that's just, that's just my, my opinion. All right, great. Our next question comes from Williston Middle School. Um, what made you decide to play your instrument? I'll take that one. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when I was introducing myself, uh, you really only notice, uh, the importance of the bass when it, when it drops out, you know, when it's top planes during the tune. And that's what really caught my attention. I was like, well, you know, I want to I wanna be that guy that, that wants, that's going to make you dance along with the drummer, of course. That's going to make you, like, bob your head to, to a song when you're driving, you know, when you're just listening to any music. Uh, the low end of, 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 the, of the song is what attracted me to the bass. And ever since then, I've, you know, I've been in love with my instrument. Awesome. Thank you. Now... To introduce our last selection, I would like to introduce musician first class, Joe Gonzelli. Hello everyone, I'm musician first class, Joe Gonzelli, and I'm fortunate enough to be the drummer for this amazing band. Uh, I come from a family of non-musicians, but from as long as I can remember, I've always been surrounded by music. My parents are big fans of music, classic rock in particular, and they took me to my first rock show when I was four, four years old, six years old actually. It was from that young age that I decided that this is what I wanted to do. I got my first set of drums when I was 10 years old and I've never looked back. I graduated college, started a military career in the United States Air Force band program, then moved to my current position here in the Navy band last spring. For me, a big part of studying, analyzing, and performing music is opening up your ears and mind to many different genres. Good music is good music, and you'll find me at the symphony one night and at a loud rock concert the next. As you've heard today, we've explored many different styles of music, and this next tune is most certainly in the jazz realm. 
In most musical situations, the drummer in the band is the source of pulse or time. I like to use the analogy of building a house. The drummer is the cement foundation on which the rest of the band, the house, sits. Without that good, solid foundation, the house would fall apart. But that not, that's not to say that the rest of the band isn't responsible for time. Listen for spots in this tune where I won't play as much time, like during the bass solo, and for the challenging rhythms the band has to play during my solo. Everyone must have a great sense of time and deep understanding of rhythm to navigate those sections. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're going to close out our performance with a song called Downtown, and this is by the Yellow Jackets. Thank you.